Okay, guys, so what I'm going to be doing now is on page 97. And commission is something that you must have heard of because I'm sure you have older brothers and sisters who are perhaps waiting at a restaurant and they get a set salary but then they also work on commission. So depending on how much they sell, they maybe get 1% or 2% of the sales that they make for the evening. And that's just incentive or motivation for them to sell more. Also, if you sell your house, the agent that sells your house on your behalf has to make their annual salary or monthly salary, and so they normally work on a commission. Sometimes it's 3%, sometimes it's 5%, but that's how they earn their money. So on page 97, reading off of um, the slide, we read as follows. Often people using, usually working in sales will be paid in commission as opposed to a set salary or over and above their basic salary. This is also known as being paid in commission. A commission amount is usually quoted as a percentage of the total amount of sales made. So, for example, a businessman may be paid a special bonus over and above his usual salary, calculated as a percentage of a business deal taking place. A car salesman may receive a basic salary and then get paid a percentage of the value of all cars sold for that month or a waiter working in a restaurant will receive wages in the form of tips, which is also commission. If that is based usually on a percentage of each overall bill. <music> Calculate the commission earned on sales of 22,000 if commission is earned at 11%. So what I would do is I'm highlighting things that are important for me, so I'm working out commission and it's also earned at 11%. So I'm sure that you are with me. What is our amount that this person is going to be earning? Well, it's going to be 22,000, all right? And we want to work out what is the commission at 11%. So we're going to take that amount and times it by 11 over 100. And of course, that means that we go back to our calculator so it's 22,000, and we are timesing it by 11%. So again, we're going to pop 11 over 100 equals. So 2,420 is the commission earned. So what this means is that whoever had actually sold the 22,000 rands worth of goods is going to get this much commission added onto their basic salary. And clearly it's a huge incentive to work harder or to sell more because the more you sell, the more your commission goes up. <music> Moving on to the next example, which is a little bit more difficult because it's more structured and scaffolded. It says, Samantha is paid a basic wage of 2,500 Rand per month plus commission of 7.5% on all sales made per month. So let's just understand that Samantha, even if she sells nothing, just by being at work, she's going to get her 2,500 Rand basic. But then her, um, her place of work has said to her that if she sells whatever she's selling, she's going to get a commission of 7.5% on all her sales made in the month. If she makes a total of 37,500 Rand in sales, calculate what her gross salary will be and what her net salary will be if she pays 25% of her overall salary in taxes. Okay, now before we can start this, we have to first of all explain to you what a gross salary is and by comparison what a net salary is. Okay, now guys, it's actually very, very simple. The difference between gross and net. The gross salary is the salary that you have initially on your payslip before all the deductions are made. Okay, so the gross salary is before any deductions. But what happens once they've got their gross salary is they now itemize the things that have to come off. So, for example, they need to take off tax, they need to take off medical aid, 
Perhaps they need to take off unemployment fund, or perhaps they even need to take off a present allowance if um, they take it off for birthdays in a month, something like that. So the gross salary is what you started with, but the net salary is what actually you are left with after all the deductions are made. And the net salary is what normally gets put into your bank at the end of the month. So you don't see all that stuff that goes off from your gross salary, like the medical aid and the tax, gets taken off first, and then the net salary is what you are left with to actually work with for the rest of the month. And normally the net salary is quite reduced from the gross salary. Okay, so let's have a look at the question. So notice that she was actually quite um, hard working in this particular month because she has sold 37,500 rand in goods. Now we need to work out what her commission is. Okay? So we're going to start off by saying, fine, 37,500 rand in sales, but now we're going to work out her commission. Now remember, her commission is 7.5%, so we are going to put 7,5 over 100. And we're going to work that out, and that's going to give us our commission. So here we go. 37,500, and we are timesing it by 7.5 over 100. Right, and that is giving us two two eight one two point five zero. Okay, so let's go back and see if we can now answer the first question. What is her gross salary? Now remember, she was actually getting two thousand five hundred rand, irrespective of sales. So that's called her basic, and then she is going to get her commission. So her gross salary at the end of this month, which may or may not be a good month, all right, is going to be her 2,500 basic plus her commission, which works out at 2,81,250. And that comes to a total of 5,3,12.5. So we've answered our first question in answering what is her gross salary. Now it says, what is her net salary if she pays 25% of her overall salary in taxes? So in other words, they are wanting us to actually calculate 25% of her gross salary and to take it off. Okay? So that means... We're going to take 25% of her gross salary, which is 5312.50. And guys, so often in class, my candidates ask me, what happens if I got that wrong? And I was now working out 25% of the wrong amount. Well, it doesn't matter. We would continue accuracy marks. So, in other words, just as long as you take your gross salary and work out 25% of that, We'll still give you all the method marks going forward. Okay, so we've got to take 25% and we are going to be timesing it by 5312.5 and that gives us 1328,1. Okay, now that is 25% of her gross salary. But now can you see we're not done with the question because it says what is her net salary? So how much is she going to take home? And yes, of course, you've guessed we are going to have to say that her net salary is going to be her gross minus her deductions, which in this case is her tax. And so her gross was 5312.50, her deductions 1328.13, and if we work that out, it means that her net salary 
is going to be 3,984 rand and 38 cents. Okay, now Samantha is in a situation where the only deduction that she's had to worry about is tax. But as I said earlier, in the real world, normally you also pay something called medical aid and you also perhaps have to pay something called an unemployment fund. And so what we're going to go into now is the actual backbone of your grade 10 finance syllabus. And guys, grade 10, 11 and 12 form a kind of a scaffolded unit for finance. And by the time you write your finance in grade 12, it counts about 15 to 20%. But the basics are built here in grade 10.